Evening guys, MC from Crossnet here. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is another two minute video as part of the two minute series. And this is all about how to get the best deal, when to get the best deal on your motorcycle, new motorcycle purchase or um, car purchase. If you've never watched a two minute video before, have a look at my two minute series. The introduction video will give you a good idea about what this is all about. So, um, first off, I'll just tell you what deal I got on this. So this bike was up for $17,000 and I got it for $16,000, okay? Um, took me a long time to get that. I started off with $500 as the best deal off, $500 as the best deal off, and ultimately I knew I would get more, but it's just finding that right time. So what's my experience? Right, I've been in sales and uh, management for uh, near uh, 12, 13 years before I sort of went back and became a geologist and then become a GIS specialist and so on, all right? So I have a huge understanding about finance, uh, the process that goes through sales, what kind of markup are in things, what kind of preparation work has to go into, um, you know, motorcycles and cars, etc. Um, so it gives me a good gauge about yeah, what I can do to kind of get a discount. There's a couple of key points that will help you get the best deal that you need on whatever you're looking to buy. Um, number one, time of the month, okay? Time of the month is hugely important. What you should be doing is engaging at the start of the month with the dealers that have the bikes for sale. So you would go in, you would look at the bikes, you would shortlist it, get it down to two, three bikes, make an offer at the start of the month, and um, you know, like they will say, like you know, two hundred fifty dollars off, five hundred dollars off, thousand dollars, whatever it might be, right? Um, but you don't make that decision. And then what you do is you wait for the last two to three days of the end of the month, right? And the reason you do that is because what actually happens is the dealers are uh, motivated to sell units, and that's usually monthly targets. They can also have monthly targets and quarterly targets, but we're just gonna talk about the monthly targets for the moment, okay? So, at the end of the month, they're chasing that extra two, three, five, six bikes, or six cars, or whatever it is, um, to try and reach their targets so that, you know, one management happy, the owners are happy, or if they're a franchise, the franchise will give them like bonus, um, bonus funds for um, reaching their targets, no more different than say a salesperson that gets a target for selling his 10, 15, 20 bikes or whatever it might be. So end of the month, so then what you do is you go at the end of the month and you say, hey, I was in the start of the month and um, this bike I really, really want to buy, but to be fair, look, $500 off, it doesn't really cut it. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll give you $1,500 off now. I'll buy it, I'll take it away from your showroom today. Um, you know what, like $1,500, let's put it in context, right? If you've got a $10,000 bike, there's usually, um, usually a couple of grand across that, anywhere between $1,500 to $2,000 across. That's what you would expect at most, all right? At most, okay, unless they've had a complete steal, right? But out of that, they've got to service the bike, they've got to prep it, you know, in stock, etc., etc., etc. So there's a, like a cost, and that, uh, that's all stuff you don't need to know about. But ultimately, that eats into that profit, right? So what you really, really want to be aiming for is really that, you know, on a, on a $10,000 bike, you want to get as close to $1,000. Um, so at the end of the month, you come in, you've looked at a bike for $10,000, and you go, right, you gave this to me for nine and a half before, um, I'll do a deal with you now, at nine thousand dollars and if they say no nah, it's not gonna happen that's fine okay thank you very much for your time and you walk out the door right usually that won't be the case they say oh look five hundred dollars you know give you a bit of a story let me go talk to my manager and that's another thing if they don't bring their manager in go is there a chance I can speak to your manager and then you go to your manager look how do we make it work I really want to buy your bike I know you want to sell it um, I came in at the start of the month, you offered me $500 off, there's one down the road or there's another one around that, you know, it's really a choice between the two, but I honestly think I want this one more, what can you do, what can you do for me to make me buy this now? And he might go, right, what, what's your offer on $9,000? He might give a shake of the head, but just keep saying $9,000 as long as you can. And I guarantee you, one or two things will either happen. You'll either get it for $9,000, or you'll get it pretty damn close to $9,000, all right? It's like anything, don't accept your uh, first option. And um, number two, right? If you're cash, that applies, that statement I said just applies, but if you're finance, that also applies, okay? That also applies. A lot of people think because they finance, they don't have the same negotiating power because people go cash is power, cash is king. 
right? Finance is not. That's not true. Same negotiation tactics take place with finance. The only difference being, the more money you save on the bike, the less money you're gonna pay in interest because you're gonna to have to borrow the money on finance. So obviously that interest gets accumulated in that over a period of time. So the, the cheaper you get the bike, the better. But look, the details of finance and how to get a good deal, how to work it, how to understand it. I'll do that in another two minute video. But for now, that's a couple of key tips to help you get the deal that you want on your um, bike. If you've got any questions, if you'd like me to do another video with how to do this to get a deal and how to engage, um, stick a comment in there. For now, this is another two minute video. MC Procrastinator out.